Now we're in the level one ceiling plan. Now we can look at the process of placing light fixtures in the model. Now based on the architecture model, the architect has modeled the ceiling in here in the cafeteria area. We're just going to look at the process of placing some 2x4 fixture in this uh, 2x2 ceiling grid. So from the system tab, we're going to select light fixtures. And then you see that in the property panel, in the type selector, we have a number of different fixtures we can choose from. So this is 1x4, and this is uh, for 120 volts, and this is 277 volts. So we're going to pick uh, 600 by 1200, uh, two by four fixtures with 120 volts. And then we're gonna click on this one and now we can start placing the fixtures in the ceiling. Now by default, uh, the program will always try to place on vertical face, but we should place, select this option here, place on face. This is a context sensitive uh, menu item. So unless you're placing fixture, you will not see these options in the ribbon panel here. So we're gonna click on this place on face and will be hosted in the face of the ceiling in the architecture model. Now we can just place a fixture here and snap to the corner intersection of these uh, ceiling grids. Now if you press spacebar, it will rotate the fixture by 45 degrees. So if you want to place this fixture in a portrait orientation, we hit a spacebar again, it will go to a portrait orientation. Or you can just keep Clicking on the spacebar, it will rotate the fixture by 45 degrees each time you click. So we can just pick a location here. We'll put one here. We'll put another one here. And we just keep clicking until we are happy with the number of fixtures we place inside this ceiling. Now you can also copy a group of light fixtures. Now let's see if I just hit escape a couple times to cancel this command. I can just pick on this um, area using a window. Now before I do that, I really should toggle on uh, this uh, select uh, pin element. So we're gonna click on this and turn, on, turn off the toggle so we cannot select pin the element because the architectural model is uh, is in the file and we don't want to accidentally move it um, when we actually copying these uh, light fixtures. Uh, maybe we want to move them so we're going to click in here select a window and see these light fixture is selected then we can just put my mouse cursor over one of the light fixture you can see that the cursor turned to a, a move uh, arrow cursor so we can actually just move this by one tile. Now, if we want to create additional row, we can actually select the copy command or type CO from the keyboard. And we can copy this group of fixture that was uh, previously selected and pick a point, first point of displacement, and then pick another point here. Now, the interesting part about Rav is that you can actually use the move command to copy fixtures. If I hold down my control key and move this from this location, and drag it to here, and it will actually make a copy. And you can always select any of these fixtures or a group of these fixtures and go to the type selector and change it to a different type. Say I want to change all these to uh, two by two, I can do that. So this is a general process of placing light fixtures in the ceiling.